Hi guys, welcome to Web Automation Part 1 tutorial in Power Automate Desktop. Today I will explain how to perform web data extraction. So let's get started. For today's demo, I'll take this Amazon website where let's say that I search for iPhone 11 and here is the search result. Now for each of these iPhones, there is a description and a cost. Now let's say that our requirement is to extract this description and cost of all these iPhones across this page. So let's create this flow in Power Automate Desktop. So for that, I'll move to Power Automate Desktop and create a new flow. Let's give a flow name here, Web Automation Web Data Extraction and let's hit on Create. Now here if you move to actions there is web automation where multiple of actions are listed to perform web automation on a browser. But to work on any browser using Power Automate Desktop, the Power Automate Desktop extension need to be installed on that browser. Let's say that you want to work on Chrome browser using Power Automate Desktop. So let me tell you what to do to do so. So for that you will move to tools, browser extensions and choose your required browser from here. Since I wish to work on Chrome browser, I will go with the Google Chrome. And here we are in the Chrome web store. This is the Microsoft Power Automate extension. Let's hit on add to Chrome and hit on add extension. And here it says the Power Automate has been added to Chrome. So this extension that is Microsoft Power Automate extension has been added to Chrome. Now you are good to work on Chrome browser using Power Automate desktop. In a similar way if you wish to work on other browsers you will follow the same process. So let's move to Power Automate desktop again. And here for our flow first of all we will launch the browser. Now the Power Automate desktop supports Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome and Edge. Let's go with the action launch new Chrome to work on the Chrome browser. So drag and drop it to the main panel and here let's select the launch mode. So let's select the launch mode as launch new instance and provide the initial URL here. So we'll provide the initial URL as this one. Let's provide the URL here and let's choose the window state. So you can choose the window state either as normal, maximized and minimized. Let's go with the maximized option. And under the advanced settings, we can clear the cache and cookies. And also we can turn this on to wait for page to load. So let's go with this turned on option of to wait for page to load. Also, this action produces a variable that is browser, which is a Chrome instance to be used with web automation actions. So let's hit on save and accordingly the browser variable got listed under the flow variables. Now let's extract the data from this web page. Now to extract the data from the web page, we'll expand this web data extraction where this, there is an action to extract data from web page. So let's drag and drop it to main and here it took the web browser instance. Now to extract the data from the web page, let's move to the web page where you will get this live web helper window which will be used to extract data from the web page. So what you need to do, mouse over to the element which you wish to extract and once you get that element surrounded by this red rectangular box, right click on that element and select this extract element value. And since we wish to extract the text of this element, so let's click on this text. So you see here the description got extracted. In a similar way, we will extract the cost. So mouse over to the cost and it is surrounded by this red box. So right click on that select extract element value and select the cost. So you see here the two values got extracted value one for description and value two for cost. So as of now we extracted the description and cost for one iPhone but we wish to extract the description and cost for all the iPhones across this page. 
so to do so what you will do you will follow the same process for the next iphone element so i'll mouse over to this description and it has been surrounded by this red box so right click on that extract element value and select this text now as soon as you do so power automate desktop is intelligent enough to extract the description and cost across the entire page so you see all the values of description and cost for all the iphones on this page got extracted now after the extraction there are some advanced settings so let's move to advanced settings where you will get the css selector of the elements which you extracted so you can go with this css selector as well or you can modify the selector as per your requirement now next if you wish to extract the data across multiple pages you can turn this on use paging and you can provide the css selector for next page of search results here as of now let's turn this off we'll extract the description and cost across this single page so this is the advanced settings let's hit on okay and we are done with the extraction so let's click on finish and again we are navigated to this power automate desktop this extract data from web page action now our next parameter is store data mode so you can store the data which will be extracted either as a variable or as an excel spreadsheet let's take this excel spreadsheet we'll store the extracted data in our excel spreadsheet so let's select this one and since we selected excel spreadsheet this action will produce the variable excel instance which will be used in the later excel actions so let's hit on save and with this we extracted the data from the web page now at the end we'll have to close the browser as well so for that i'm going to use the action close web browser let me add it here and it took the web browser instance as browser let's hit on save and since the extracted data will be stored in an excel file at the end we'll have to save and close that excel file as well so i'll use one excel action as well so let's move to the excel and let's use this close excel action so let me add it here it took the excel instance as the excel instance variable which got created in this previous action and before closing the excel we wish to save the document so let's select save document as and here we'll provide the document format as xlsx and here we'll provide the document path so click on this select file and i'll store the excel file in this location let me provide the file name here extracted data and let's hit on open and let's hit on save so our flow is ready it's going to launch the chrome browser and extract the data from the web page and at the end it's going to close the web browser which got opened and after that it is going to close the excel as well it's going to save the extracted data into the excel and close the excel file so let me save this one let's hit on okay and let me close this browser as well power automate desktop is going to open it on its own and let's quickly run this flow and my project is running now it is launching the amazon website and now it is going to extract the description and cost from this web page and store it in excel file and the execution is over let's quickly move to our folder location and here you see this is the extracted data file which got created let me open this file and here you see the complete description and cost across the page got written inside this excel file so in this way you can extract the data from web page using power automate desktop with the action extract data from web page this action is used to extract data from web page using power automate desktop in the form of single values list rows or tables in the next session we will take a look on how to fill forms under web application using another web automation actions under web form filling and that's all for this session guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends 
hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel as well and i'll see you soon in the next one bye bye